Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Hope you all are doing well. So uh, in this video, we will uh, continue with uh, ratio analysis. So uh, here we will uh, discuss solvency ratio. So uh, guys, uh, whenever we talk about solvency ratio, it, it generally represents um, the uh, long term viability of a company or uh, a firm. Okay. So uh, it basically based on how um, a company uh, will deal with its long term debt and uh, uh, the debt to equity ratio or uh, the interest coverage ratio. So uh, are they able to pay interest on long term and not? Okay. So um, here we have like uh, debt ratio, we have equity ratio, we have uh, debt to equity ratio and uh, interest uh, coverage ratio. So we will go through all these uh, ratios with the uh, cases. Okay. So previously we discussed liquidity ratio. I hope you guys uh, watched this video. So where we discussed these particular ratios like uh, net working capital ratio, cash, uh, quick uh, and current ratios, SFS ratio and we also solved some cases based on these particular ratios. Okay. So now time for uh, solvency ratio. So now the question is what is uh, solvency of any organization or any firm? So solvency means um, a long term uh, viability of an organization. So how? Uh, how any specific organization will deal with its uh, long term um, uh, debt or uh, uh, the, the uh, long term uh, uh, debt to equity or uh, the uh, uh, the amount borrowed by that particular organization, how they will pay in long term and all. So with the help of solvency ratio, you can calculate uh, these particular thing. Okay, so solvency ratio are used to uh, use for determining uh, the viability of an organization in long term or in other words it is used uh, to uh, determine long term viability of an organization okay so basically we are studying the long term debt uh, versus uh, the, uh, uh, the the capital or the shareholders equity in, in an organization okay so uh, we have a number of uh, ratios here as well so debt to equity ratio we will discuss that ratio, equity ratio and uh, interest uh, coverage ratio. So we will start with the uh, debt to equity ratio. So total debt uh, divided by um, a shareholders um, equity. Okay. So first one is debt to equity ratio. So debt to equity ratio is one of the most common uh, solvency, uh, debt solvency ratio. It uh, represented at uh, debt divided by uh, equity ratio. So the formula is... Um, debt to equity ratio long term debt divided by shareholders fund or total debt as liability okay so we already uh, discussed this thing while uh, we study uh, the convention of accountancy or the concept of accountancy so let's say if you started some xyz business and you contributed being a owner you contributed 5 crore rupees so that 5 crore rupees or that owner's amount is liability for that particular xyz company okay so total liability or uh, um, and and uh, the shareholders uh, equity in that particular fund. So with the help of cases, so it will give you better understanding. Okay, so there is a company. Let's say this company is um, ABC Limited. Uh, so this ABC Limited total liability is uh, one lakh rupees and uh, total uh, equity is uh, rupees uh, uh, or two lakh fifty thousand. Okay, so now you know the formula so we have total liabilities divided by total equity so liability is 1 lakh and uh, equity is 2 lakh 50 thousand so outcome is 0 0.40 percent so that is that to equity means basically with the help of solvency ratio you are uh, identifying the uh, long term visibility about any company or the overall uh, viability of a company in long term okay so uh, like when you do the fundamental analysis so you can use uh, these particular ratios so this way you can calculate debt to equity ratio even you can practice more cases based on uh, like examiner they can give you cases based on uh, uh, like they can give you multiple entries about uh, liability or uh, multiple entries about equity you have to just add these uh, liabilities and um, equities then the formula is uh, total liabilities divided by total equity so you'll uh, your outcome will be debt to equity ratio for uh, that uh, xyz uh, organization okay next one we have debt ratio so here basically you are you are calculating the long term debt of an organization so um, debt ratio 
is a financial ratio which is used uh, in measuring a company's financial leverage okay so higher the debt ratio which means uh, the company at risk okay so if like any organization this is like this is a simple concept like, let's say if you will have more debt uh, in your portfolio which means there is a high risk because you have to pay interest okay in long term and uh, the future is uncertain about any business or anything so that's why if you have uh, debt at higher side so it will uh, make a negative impact on your organization okay so debt ratio is long term debt divided by uh, capital or uh, uh, long term debt divided by net asset of an organization so you can go through this cases this particular case so total liabilities current liabilities plus non current liabilities okay short term or long term both so total liabilities for the given organization is 1 lakh 10000 and total asset current plus non current or uh, the short term plus long term is 2 lakh 45000 okay so you know the formula debt ratio is total liabilities divided by total asset so your outcome is 4.5 uh, point point four five in this particular case again like as i told you uh, when we discussed the liquidity ratios so the only thing you need to know that is one first one is you need to remember these formulas okay so you can make a chart and uh, another thing is you need to do a uh, more practice so like the number of question you'll solve so uh, your um, accuracy will increase toward these particular question okay sometime examiner they ask straightforward question so your formula will help you sometime they also uh, give the different different entries then you have to pick from those particular entries then it become quite complex so if you have a clarity about um, which comes under liability or which comes under assets so it is it become very easy and it is very easy to identify liability and uh, asset you can like you can um, suppose that you are running some organization and these are the cases for your organization okay next one is propriety ratio so proprietor who is proprietor founder who started that particular business okay let's say you started some xyg organization so you are the proprietor of that particular one. and uh, let's say you started that particular business uh, with 5 crore rupees so 5 crore rupees will be liability on that particular organization okay so like you we have business entity concept so uh, as per that particular concept capital contributed by owner is liability for the firm okay so proprietor or um, equity ratio so the ratio express the uh, relationship between uh, proprietor funds uh, the fund of all the uh, shareholders and the um, capital employed or the uh, net asset of uh, any uh, organization okay so equity ratio again very simple one shareholders fund divided by capital or shareholders fund divided by total asset of the firm okay so let's say uh, the uh, shareholders equity is 50 crore rupees and uh, total asset is uh, let's say 100 crore rupees okay so 100 crore rupees so your outcome is 0 0.50 so 0 0.50 is uh, the uh, proprietor ratio or equity ratio in that particular organization okay so this is the uh, proprietor ratio or equity ratio for this xyz organization so again very simple one so how they'll make this particular complex they'll give you multiple shareholders they'll give you uh, the uh, assets different different assets of that particular one so you have to sum all these then you have to um, um, uh, you have to identify total shareholder and total asset of that particular firm and you can calculate that equity ratio okay so equity ratio or proprietor ratio is shareholders equity so which is 50 crore in our case and total assets which is uh, accumulated asset are 100 crore rupees so your ratio is 0 0.50 next one final one under solvency ratio interest coverage ratio so interest coverage ratio is interest coverage ratio is uh, used to determine whether a company is able to pay interest on uh, uh, the outstanding debt obligation or not okay so let's say if there is an organization who is raising funds from the market so if you want being an investor if you want to check this company is able to uh, pay out uh, the uh, 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 pay out the interest on um, uh, for these uh, uh, upcoming 10 years or not so this interest coverage ratio will help you okay how you will calculate interest coverage ratio is um, a bit so which is uh, earning before uh, income taxes okay income and other taxes 
and divide by interest on long term uh, debt obligation okay so uh, you can go through this case so here like they can give you the exact number like um, earning before tax and income or uh, uh, the uh, interest payment or even they can give you multiple entries so there is no use of this one there is no use of this one this one this one this one okay so you just need to calculate the uh, 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 the earning before tax and all so which is one like uh, 47000 and uh, the another one is interest so interest is 9000 so if you see uh, earning before tax and income is uh, 147000 divided by 9000 so which is equal to your 16.16.33 uh, 16 so this is this is the interest coverage ratio for the given organization okay so interest coverage ratio is a bit for a period divided by total interest payment in the uh, given period so um, this way you can calculate the uh, viability of an organization to able the pay of interest in long term okay or in uh, the given time duration okay so uh, guys uh, we already uh, did a video on uh, liquidity ratio which is the most important ratios for uh, examination purpose liquidity and solvency most of time examiner they generally ask question based on liquidity and solvency so these uh, are very very important one so you just need to remember the formulas for these one so you can make a chart where you study you can make a chart for uh, liquidity as well as solvency and uh, you like the number of question you will practice you will get um, uh, like uh, your, your proficiency, proficiency on these particular terms will increase okay so practice lot practice more and more question based on uh, these ratios even i'll uh, after the uh, completion of uh, these ratio series i'll come with uh, a number of question based on uh, uh, ratio analysis so i'll come with mixed question so that will help you to improvise your uh, score uh, in the liquidity analysis okay so the only thing uh, till that time i would say ki, uh, just uh, go through these particular ratios make a chart make a notes or try to remember these particular formulas taken so you cannot go for the ratification things just practice more question based on uh, these particular ratios so you will be able to answer uh, multiple questions uh, in, in the upcoming time okay so uh, if you like the video please do share with your friends and uh, do tell uh, ki, uh, subscribe this channel so uh, they can also uh, watch these videos so this is it from my side thank you for watching this video bye bye take care of have a nice day thank you